Hello, hi everyone. Today, I want to present about the application of spinning this vector in production of ice cream. My name is Nur Adiba Binti Kaya Azha. My name is Nurul Izza Akila Binti Muhammad Amiduddin. Uh, my name is Muhammad Daniel Ben Ismail. My name is Badrul Aiman. My name is Adiba. So here, I want to show you guys the whole process description of production of ice cream. General ice cream processing step is blend, pasteurize, homogenize egg mix, add flavor or color, freeze, add fruits, nut, package, and last one, harden. So first, blend all the ice cream mixture, the meat fat sauce, non fat solid, stabilizer, and emulsifier are blended to ensure complete mixing of liquid and dry ingredients. Next, pasteurize mix. The ice cream mix is pasteurized based on temperature that set on the slide. The condition used to pasteurize ice cream mix are greater than those used for fluid milk because of increased viscosity from the higher fat, solid and sweetener content and the addition of egg yolk in custard products. Next, homogenize. Ice cream mix is homogenized 2500 to 3000 psi to decrease the milk fat globule size. It is because to form a better emulsion and contribute to a smoother, creamy ice cream. Homogenization also ensure that emulsifier and stabilizer are well blended and evenly distributed in the ice cream mix before it is frozen. Next, egg the mix. Ice cream mix is egg at 5 degrees Celsius for at least 4 hours or overnight. Egging the mix cool it down before freezing allows the mix fat to partially crystallize and to give the protein stabilizer time to hydrate. This is improve the whipping properties of the mixture. And next, add liquid flavors and colors. Liquid flavors and colors may be added to the mix before freezing. Only ingredients that are liquid can be added before the freezing to make sure the mix flow properly through the freezing equipment. Next, we move to the next step which is freeze. The process involves freezing the mix and incorporating air. Ice cream mix can be frozen in batch or continuous freezer and the condition used will depend on the type of freezer. Next, add fruits, nut and bulky flavorings. Fruits and any bulky type of flavorings are added at this point. This ingredient cannot be added before freezing or they will interfere with the smooth flow of the mix throughout the freezer. The ice cream at this point is soft and it is easy to mix in the bulky flavoring. Next, package. As desired, it is depend on the product of ice cream. And the last step is harden. The ice cream is cooled as quickly as possible down to a holding temperature of less than negative 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature and time of cooling will depend on the type of storage freezer. At this temperature, there is still a small portion of liquid water. If all the water present in the ice cream were frozen, the ice cream will, will be as hard as an ice cube. So, I pass the slide to Iza Akila. Thank you, Adiba. Next, I will explain about spinning disc reactor or SDR in ice cream production. The spinning disc reactor provides a process identification reaction that simultaneously provides food safety, reduce processing time, and uniformly ice cream based component together to form a final product. The ice cream base containing butter fat, lecithin, zeticum, sugar, cream milk, and double cream was passed over the SDR de spinning at 2900 rpm, heat at 
18 degree C and add a fluoride 6 ml per second. Spinning this reactor or SDR are capable of operating horizontally or vertically and are mounted on a rotating axle. The liquid is fit near the center and flow across the surface of spinning disc under influence of centrifugal force. This force stretches and spread the film. The thin liquid film allows for high rate of mass transfer so that it supports unit operations such as absorption, stripping, mixing and reaction. Next, for resident time on the disc is in the range of 0.1 to 3 seconds. Both film thickness and resident time are dependent on fluid physical properties, rotational speed, and radial location of the fluid. On exciting the edge of the disc, the liquid is thrown onto the enclosing wall and then drains away. The wall is heat or cool depending upon the process requirement. In the ice cream making process, rapid crystallization of the water leads to the formation of smaller ice crystals that produce smoother ice cream. Rapid cooling followed by rapid crystallization can be attained and hence make small ice crystals by pumping a chill fluid through the underside of the SDR. The chemical reactor is at the heart of a chemical plant. Reactions are typically performed in large vessels. The spinning disc reactor outperforms conventional reactor equipment, adding unique process controllability. This reactor consists of a stationary casing connected to a motor. The motor drives three discs, which rotate at high velocities inside the narrow casing. Two reactants are fed into the device from the top side and then flow around the rotating discs. The large shear forces provide very efficient mixing of the reactants. This results in high mass transfer rates, allowing reactions to take place in seconds. During the reaction, large amounts of heat are released. Cooling channels are integrated inside the casing to effectively remove this reaction heat. The combination of high mass transfer rates and the temperature control allows reactions to proceed under process intensified conditions, making the spinning disc reactor unique in terms of efficient, safe and flexible production. Next, I will pass the slide to Muhammad Daniel. Okay now, I would like to present schematic diagram of SDR or spinning disc reactor. This is the schematic diagram of SDR. Let's move on to component and function in spinning disc reactor. Spinning disc reactor has the capability to operate either horizontally or vertically while mounted on a rotating axle. Under the influence of centrifugal force, the liquid is fed close to the center across the surface of the spinning disc. This will cause the film to spread as the force stretches it. The thin liquid films produce leads to higher mass transfer thus making it favorable for unit operations such as absorption, stripping, mixing and reaction. The resident time on the disc is approximately 0.1 second to 3 second. The physical properties of the fluid, rotational speed of the disc and the radial location of the fluid are the factors that are highly influenced by the thickness of the film and the resident time. During the liquid exit through the periphery edge of the disc, the liquid will be discharged to an enclosed wall to be drained away. The enclosed wall will be heated or cooled depending on the process requirement. The diameter of the disc is 100 mm that will rotate at a range of 600 rpm to 1200 rpm. A transfer liquid will be heated to a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius and will be circulated into a chamber at the bottom of the disc. This resulted in a very high heat and mass transfer coefficient. Back mixing does not occur inside the reactor. 
for high viscosity materials with the size of film ranging from fraction of few millimeter and as low as few microns is capable to provide surface to volume ratios of 1000 meter square per meter cube and 100000 meter square per meter cube for low viscosity liquid Okay, now let's move on to the technology of the spinning disc printer in the production of ice cream. The ingredients used for the ice cream base are butter fat, lecithin, xanthan gum, sugar, skim milk, and double cream. All the ingredients is passed through the SDR at this spinning rate of 2900 RPM. The temperature during the reaction is set at 80 degrees Celsius with the flow rate of 6 ml per second. During the testing, the physical properties of the SDR processed ice cream base is investigated. The properties include particle size, viscosity, meltdown rate, sensory perception, and ice cream model overrun. From the test, it is recorded that as the table below. Based on the result, SDR had proven capable to produce a highly stable ice cream base with a significantly less aging than 18 hours. Traditional process of making ice cream requires 18 hours of aging but SDR processed ice cream requires less than 18 hours aging. Intense mixing during SDR process will facilitate the hydration of milk proteins and stabilizers. Thanks to Daniel. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Badrul Aiman bin Muhammad and I will continue the last part of the video which is the advantages and disadvantages of spinning this rector. So I will start with the advantages of spinning this rector. The first advantage is spinning this rector or SDR has low investment and operation costs. This means that this rector does not need a large amount of money to build the rector and also only need low cost to produce products. The next advantage is faster reaction rates. The third point is safer than other conventional rectors. This is because the size of SDR is much smaller than other conventional rector. So the smaller rector will hold up only smaller volume of hazardous material. Lastly, SDR can improve product quality such as tighter particle size distribution in crystallization and better control of molecular weight properties polymerization now let's move on to the disadvantages of SDR firstly the startup and shutdown procedures have to be established to ensure that the rector can operate well and the rector will not easily damage the next disadvantage is can produce small amount of product. This is because the rector is small, hence the amount of product produced is limited. The last disadvantage is difficult to completely remove water in the rector since the mechanical agitator will find it difficult to stir a highly viscous solution. So that's all from me, thank you. So that's all from us. Thank you. Bye. 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 Stay safe, stay at home. Kita jaga kita.